In the beginning, there was very little. Before the days of one-click shopping, social networking, and even email, this was the internet. Well, the imp, which is behind me, its job was to basically um, store information from other computers and forward them to another one. It was 40 years ago on September 2nd, 1969, that a team of engineers was able to get two computers to share information, creating the first network in what would eventually become the internet. What we were thinking about was machine to machine communications. We were not thinking about my 99-year-old mother being on the internet. That first communication was in fact sent in Kleinrock's lab, and he says he'll be the first to tell you that what they developed back then was nothing like what we have now. We trusted everybody on the network. We knew them all. <laughs> everybody behaved well. We shared everything we did. We were not economically motivated. The motivation, in fact, came from a need for him and others to share data as they tried to stay steps ahead of the Soviet Union. And that's where this came to play, a hulking machine that sent and received data of phone lines and was in today's standards as slow as it is big. Somebody would send off the first letter for the, to initiate the login procedure, which was an L, and would say on the phone, I just sent an L. And the guy at the other end on the phone would say, Okay, the L came. Not exactly Twitter, but Kleinrock says they started to make breakthroughs soon after that, including a few years later when they began sending not just data, but also personal messages. Suddenly it took over the traffic of the internet. Everybody was doing email. I said, ah, this is not about machines talking to each other. It's about people communicating. It's something people haven't stopped doing since. Kleinrock and others are somewhat worried about controls and limits some providers and companies are putting on the web. But in general, they say there's still plenty of room for their little experiment to grow. Myra Lopez, The Associated Press.